Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be revealing a trick that I posted on Christmas. It is an Angle Z magic trick, which is three tricks all combined into one trick. Plus, I added a prediction. Now, I entered this trick into a contest for Steven Hammer, and I actually won, and I got a brick of playing cards, which I was excited about. Um, I'll leave a link down to the performance and to Steven Hammer's channel. And well, a lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on this trick, so okay, here so I am. for this trick, you'll need two of the same card. All right, now in my performance, I used the King of Spades, so I recommend you do use a face card, and I recommend you use a club or a spade on that. And I'll tell you why um, later in the trick. So I don't have any more face cards that are black, so I'm just gonna use the Ten of Clubs here. And wait, did I just say ten of clubs? I meant the ten of spades. Gosh. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure that they're squared up like perfectly, and you can even hold it like this to keep them squared up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that corner, and you're gonna get some of the pip, and you're gonna get some of the uh, middle here. All right, and that's why I want you to use a face card because it takes some of that. All right, so once you got that folded, just like that, you're gonna fold it back up, all right? And you're gonna take one of them, it doesn't really matter, and you're just gonna take it, and you're gonna rip it pretty good like that, all right? So once you have that ripped off, you won't need this card anymore. And, well, basically, when you put this card up to it and fix it a little bit, it looks like that's the matching corner, okay? So once you have this piece off, this is the piece that you're going to put somewhere. Um, so let's say, I don't know. We'll just put it in the box for now, all right? That's the piece that gets teleported, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start off with that in its place and this card on top, okay? You can, and well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the deck and you're just gonna give it a couple false cuts. To start out with, you can do a shuffle but keep the card at the top okay and then you're gonna give it one last cut but leave a pinky break and then that's gonna let you go into the riffle down four so they see stop you pick it up where your pinky break is and well you already force the ten of spades next what you're gonna do is you're gonna just show it to them you don't want to let them get too close to see that crease all right, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand over it, fold it back, and go like that. And it sounds like you rip the corner off, and then you can just do like a little motion, or whatever you wanna do to make it look like you make it disappear, all right? And then from here, what you're gonna do, they're gonna think it's folded back, but here's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna, you're gonna fold it like this to show them and it looks like you flipped the card over. Then you're gonna turn it to over here. And then with this hand, you're gonna fold it back as you're coming up. And then it looks like you're just touching that edge and it looks like it's gone. All right, so once again, you do the fake rip and then make it disappear. And then you take it like this and then like that and it looks like it's actually gone. Now in my performance, I didn't say anything, I was just showing him, so that was a little poorly um, on that part, but yeah, so once that's gone, and you show them, you're gonna tell them to look where it's teleported, all right? And well, let's say you teleport it into the box, they take it out, and you're holding the card, and then you just put that piece up to there. And no matter what, as you see, it's not perfect, but you can put it under and it make it look like it's perfect. 
Alright, and once you do that, you say you're going to take it, and this is the part where you're going to put it in your mouth. And well, you actually do put it in your mouth, but you don't necessarily have to swallow it, okay? So here's what you do. You take it, put it on your tongue, and show them, and then you chew it up. And what I do is I don't swallow it. I put it up right here, all right? I just go, and I just use my tongue to put it up there. Then you're going to say, check this out. And all you're going to do is just put it in your mouth and lift it up with, like, your tongue or your teeth, all right? And you don't want to put your whole mouth on it because it will make the crease wet, and when you go to pull it, it might rip. So after you go to pull it, uh, the prediction part is optional. You just take another card from another deck and put it somewhere. And you tell them before the trick even started, I knew you were going to pick that card. Because I actually uh, took that card out from another deck. And well, that is a trick.